Hello, Golden Bears. I am Lisa McFarren, Executive Assistant to Dr. Warren Hilton, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. Our division would like to welcome you to the 2020-2021 academic year and provide you with a few quick updates on how this fall will be different from other fall semesters due to COVID-19. We ask that you check your KU email daily and read the KU opening, reopening plan on the KU website. It is crucial that you stay informed. My name is Donovan McCargo. I'm the Assistant Vice President and Dean of Students at KU. As you know, masks will be required in most locations on campus. In an effort to social distance, most individual appointments with faculty and staff in the Enrollment Management and Student Affairs Divisions will be held via phone or virtual platforms such as Zoom, unless you need or request to meet with someone in person. When meeting in person with that staff and faculty in our division, you will need to wear a mask and sit at least six feet away. Many student activities and events will be hosted virtually and in person. Events will have a limited capacity and social distancing measures in place. Our student code of conduct has been updated to, to account for safety measures needed to mitigate the spread of COVID. My name is Krista Evans, Director of Undergraduate Admissions. I'm excited to welcome those of you who will be joining the Golden Bear family this fall as new students. For our returning students, I wish you continued success. You proved what Golden Bears are all about by rising to the occasion during the pandemic. If you know someone who will be looking for a university to call home in 2021, please ask them to apply to Kutztown for free by using the word golden and we'll be happy to waive their application fee. Hello KU students. I'm Bernard McCree, Director of Financial Aid Services. I know me and my staff have communicated with many of you and your families over the last few months. It is critical that if you have not already done so, please log on to your MyKU student portal and check to make sure you have uh, done all items on your to-do list and completed them. Also this year, some offices, including financial aid services, will be using online chat software uh, to assist you with questions. Between emailing, calling, and using our chat feature, you will be able to get many of your questions answered without having to physically come to our office. My name is Desiree Reisner, and I'm the Director of Residence Life. If you're moving into an on-campus residence, you've been assigned a date and time at which to move in. Please make sure that you arrive on that date and at that time in order to allow for social distancing. You and your family members will each go through a screening, including a temperature check, in order to move into the residence halls. There will be an entrance and an exit for you to check in with plenty of staff and signage to direct you along the way. Each of our Golden Bears will be allowed to have one family member at a time assist them in the move-in process. Please remember to check to make sure that your emergency contact information is up to date in MyKU and that you've completed your meningitis waiver. Golden Bears will not be allowed to check into the residence halls without have completed a meningitis waiver. My name is Kent Dahlquist and I'm the Director of Housing and Dining. This fall, our dining facilities will look different to allow for social distancing. In addition, there will be more takeout options available to you, and the dining venue and the academic forum will feature online ordering. Our custodial staff will be working hard to keep the housing and dining facilities cleaned and sanitized. It is a pleasure to serve you, Golden Bears. You are the best students anywhere on the planet. I am Dr. Warren Hilton, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. As my colleagues have pointed out, we have protocols and procedures to help mitigate the spread of COVID-19. We will continue to update these protocols as new guidance from health officials is released. COVID-19 has affected us all in different ways. And on top of that, the racial unrest that we've seen over the last several months has left many KU students, faculty, staff, and alumni asking what action will KU take to become an even more welcoming and inclusive campus. Recently, KU released a list of over 100 action items to address diversity, equity, and inclusion. I am proud to work at a university that is willing to take action to create change that will lead to a better campus community for all. Golden Bears, we have a lot to look forward to this academic year, and I wish you much success. 
remember, it's good to be golden.